Hey guys, it's Kelly Cox with iVideo Wildlife. The camera gear I use to film hunts and wildlife, we're going to go through it right here. So we're going to run through some of the camera gear that works for me. Um, there's a lot more high-end equipment out there, um, but this, these are the pieces that I've found that works the best for me. Uh, running, gunning, filming elk hunts and mule deer hunts in the West. I'm a one guy uh, operation, so I don't have a lot of time to be switching lenses out. Um, so these are the main pieces that I use to film hunts with. My number one main camera is the Sony RX10 IV. It's a 18 to 600 millimeter zoom fixed lens camera with an f4 aperture. So that means I can really zoom in, get some tight shots. It shoots 4K video. I've got the Rode Mic Pro on top of it. Um, just this combination works super good. Uh, it's a great go-between. I can take uh, great still shots and switch quickly to video mode. Um, Sony has a very interactive, I feel like, a very interactive uh, menu system to where I can switch between uh, any scene modes that I might be using. I can also go into their uh, play memory app, which is very handy to get some time-lapse videos with. I don't use this camera for that. The one that's filming right now is the one that I use, but uh, this this is a beast. This is this is my go-to. This is the one that I film all my elk hunts with. Um, there's a few tricks in the, in the. I like to shoot on the vivid scene mode. And then you know, on that mode, I go in and do a, in the creative style, I do a minus one, plus one, plus one. And that gets a, what I feel like the, the most crisp image that I can get for the YouTube videos that we're putting out. So anyway, you guys have questions to any of this gear, post them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer more questions if I'm skipping over stuff here. but. This is my go-to right here. I'm gonna switch this out now and video off this camera and show you my uh, B-roll camera. Okay, so what was filming earlier was the Sony A6300. This is, and now I'm filming with the Sony RX10. If you see any differences uh, between the two video shots, um, now would be a good time to check that out. But um, this little camera, uh, interchangeable lens camera. Um, I've got three lenses for this camera. I've got the uh, uh, 35 millimeter f 1.8. This is the lens that I use if I'm going to take uh, like night scenes, night time lapses, any super um, tight, you know, wide aperture lens shots where I want the background blurred out. This is the lens I'm using there. Um, this one is the, don't get this wrong, 18 to, or sorry, 10 to 18 
wide angle f4 lens landscape shots lots of time lapse shots i'm sh i'm shooting with this lens right here this little camera has got an app in it that i use all the time um, it's the sony play memories app time lapse you can set up clouds sunset sunrises uh, night scenes it just makes the time lapses super super easy um, and, and when you're done with them it merges them right into a little 15 10 second clip so works great this is this is a this is a must-have lens right here and then this is more of a all-around lens uh, 18 to 105 so and that's about as much as I use this camera. I use this camera a lot for B-roll. You know, a lot of the scenic shots that I get, this camera's the one taking them. Um, it's small, lightweight, um, super, super good camera that way. So we'll just keep rolling. Um, picked up this guy last year, the GoPro um, 7, Hero 7. So I felt like the GoPros were kind of running pretty, pretty much the same, same features, different number every year until the seven came out. And with the stabilization, it changed the game enough that I bought this camera last year. Pretty cool camera that I, I've been able to shoot a lot of hyperlapses. You know, if we're on four wheelers or, or cruising up a road or something, it, it, it's got a pretty cool feature to merge that into a super smooth, fast video scene. So I struggled with the microphone. I had this Rode Mini Mic right here on it, but the muff was always in the way. I picked up this sign, I'll say this wrong, Sermonic Mic, and I'm gonna try that this year. So. Uh, this little this little stand right here is pretty dang helpful. I keep this just rigged up in my backpack at all times. That can fold up into the handle. I can hurry and jump it out, set it on the ground in front of a hunter, in front of myself or, or my son, and get a, a second or third point of view on on the action taking place. So I've actually started using the GoPro a lot more than I used to use. Um, phone scope, obviously. Uh, anything past probably, I would say, 400 yards, the phone scope is, is a must have. Um, just brings you in tight with your spotting scope, and it's a great, great piece of equipment to have with you. And you've always got your phone with you anyway. So, I uh, got the DJI Mavic Air. Um, actually going to sell this camera. They just came out with a Mavic Air 2 and I feel like it's got a, a be, uh, uh, the camera's enough uh, more high quality that I need to make the switch on that. So this is for sale. Three batteries, 550 bucks. Not trying to sell pitch on this video, but uh, a lot of people think you, you, you chase animals, hunt, uh, look for animals, whatever, look for sheds. It's not the case. Um, the cameras are just like anything else. What looks, what is 100 yards away looks to be three or 400 yards away. So all this camera is for is the scenic, you know, the scenic shots, that, that cinematic shot. That's all I use these for. So, um, dry bags, I always got these in my backpack. In fact, most of the time when I'm in four wheelers and stuff, I've got them wrapped around my cameras, keeping the dust off of them. Tripod guys, who likes to watch shaky video? I can't stand it. Um, nothing against the vlogs. They give you, you know, a good day-to-day um, -day perspective, but sometimes the vlogs and the and the shakiness will drive me absolutely crazy. So get your cameras on a tripod. This is my this is my beast. It's a big uh, slick carbon fiber. I've got this size. I've got I've got several sizes. You know, if I'm going to be by myself back in the back country, I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to take the one that that's on there. Um, 
I've switched over to this Saru, Sari, something head this year. Should have been more prepared for that. Sirui, Sirui. But anyway, I've got I've got the fluid head there, and then I also grabbed this little ball head, and kind of excited. I haven't used this yet, but I'm kind of excited to have this because. A lot of times with my B-roll camera, I don't need a big fluid head. All I need is something to get, get the camera stable, get it, get it framed right, lock it in, and, and let it take its time lapse or whatever. And it's super lightweight. So anyway, like I said, guys, I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna do a lot more gear, uh, gear videos. I'm usually a year behind on the videos because I like to put some time in behind the gear that I'm using. I, there's nothing wrong with an unboxing video. Um, it's good, they're good to get the, get the product out there in front of people and make them aware, but a lot of the, a lot of the gear review videos that I'm gonna do for you, I've got a season, at least a season in, into the gear. Um, to, and, and it's not, they're not going to be videos that um, I'm trying to say that they're the only, the only, the only product or the best product out there. They're going to be more videos of why I like them, the features I like, why I chose them, and such like that. So, anyway, I hope you guys find these helpful. Always leave comments down below, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell with the notification button. That way when I put up a new video, you get notified that it's up. See you soon.